Ciao everybody, this is Daniele Luciano Mosco of Parola de More Ministries. How are you doing today? God bless you and all your family members in Jesus' name. Today, I'll be talking on the subject of confessing your sins. I repeat, confessing your sins. Now in the New Testament book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23, it reads these words, the wages of sin is death, but life is found in Christ in God. And in the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23, it reads these words. God considers any iniquity to be an abomination. God calls rebellion in any form as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as idolatry. There is a supernatural cleansing found in the open confession of our sins to one another, and more importantly, especially unto the Lord God Almighty. Unconfessed sin creates emotional distress and spiritual illness like cancer. Bitterness is the hardest pill to swallow. I repeat, bitterness is the hardest pill to swallow and saying sorry seems to be the hardest word to use for a proud, self-righteous, unrepentant, unforgiving person. The Greek word for sin is harmashia. This word basically means to be without a sharing, to miss the mark, to err, be mistaken, to miss or wander from the path of unrightness and honour to do or go wrong, to wander from the law of God, to violate God's holy law, which is sin. Therefore, sin is to go against the law of God, and all have gone against the law of God, which can be summed up in these words, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind, and your neighbour as yourself. For all have sinned and fallen far short of the glory of God. The Holy Scriptures are about one subject, and that is the saving power of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only human who lived a perfect life and has offered himself as a sacrifice for you and for me. Only by accepting him as your Lord and Saviour and by requesting that he save you by his shed blood, will you ever have your sins paid for and escape eternal death? A drowning man is unable to save himself, and we are all drowning in the flood of sin, unfortunately. Our position is this, we need a saviour, one who can rescue us from our sins and give us eternal life and rescue us, more importantly, from eternal death. Like the Apostle Peter, who was walking on the water and then started to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. That is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 30, those words. Confession cleanses you from unrighteousness and also some diseases. Many diseases have come into this world as a result of sin, Jesus Christ forgave the sins of the sick to make them well. Not all sickness is a result of personal sin, but some may be the result of unresolved sin. Doctors from all over the world are finding that guilt, anger, worry and anxiety are causing more and more diseases. These beloved are the byproduct of unresolved an unconfessed sin. Confession is acknowledging personal guilt. You cannot turn to the God you have sinned against without turning from sin. Very importantly too, you do not need to go into a black telephone looking box with a mesh screen in a Roman Catholic church with a Roman Catholic priest sat behind it to confess your sins. We are commanded to confess renounce and reject our personal sins directly to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Lord Jesus Christ is the supreme sovereign standard for holiness, for righteousness, no one else. For the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 10 says, No one is righteous, not even one. Your goodness will not earn you heaven because you are no good in light of God's goodness. To confess your sin in humble repentance is to look to Jesus Christ for, for, for forgiveness. 1 John chapter 1 verses 9 to 10 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. If we say we have not sinned, we make Jesus a liar and his truth has no place in our lives. The sweetest three words in the English language are, I love you. The three hardest words are, I have sinned. Confession of sin is an absolute necessity to restore fellowship between God and his beloved children. Many confess their sins to God, yet do not receive forgiveness because their confession is absent of certain marks required of God to prove the genuineness and sincerity of their confession. Having the right kind of confession, like King David of Israel or the wayward prodigal son, will clean your heart and restore your fellowship with God. In the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 13, it reads these words, And King David said unto prophet Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also has put away your sin. You shall not die. God's beloved children cannot sin and hope to get by with it and just simply continue just as if nothing happened. The word of God says, shall we continue sinning so grace can abound? No, God forbid. King David's sin was great and his punishment was severe because he had murdered Uriah, the husband of Bathsheba, whom King David had also committed sexual adultery and fornication with. But when you read Psalm 51, which King David also wrote, you find his heart was absolutely broken up in remorse, repentance and revival in openly confessing and denouncing his sins in true, genuine humility and true sincerity to the God, the Holy Righteous One, who promises to forgive us of all our confessed sins and wash them completely away. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. King David's heart was so broken up inside of himself, he cried out to God, asking God for mercy. Remember the beautiful confession of the wayward prodigal son found in the New Testament book of Luke chapter 15, verse 21. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in thy sight I am no worthy to be called thy son. A true, humble, sincere and genuine confession from deep within your heart, your soul, will do more than just admit one's condition. There were many remarkable things that brought this man, the prodigal son, to his heavenly and earthly father's house. He came to himself. He was convicted and came to his right senses. He saw himself as he was, a wretched sinner in need of a righteous saviour. He saw all his terrible dark sins he had committed in the right true light of God's love, mercy and amazing grace and was filled with sorrow and remorse. That is the way we must feel, that we are not worthy of God's mercy and blessing. This man made a good resolution. I will arise and go. The battle is half won when you make up your mind about a matter that convicts and bothers you. And in true honesty, and humility and sincerity, your sin that you committed should bother and convict you to repent, renounce and reject it and get right with God again. Amen. Someone once asked the conqueror Alexander the Great 
how he conquered the world and how he answered that question by making up my mind and not delaying. Beloved child of God, why don't you make up your mind that Jesus Christ will truly be the Lord of your life? Alexander the Great put his resolution into action. It is not enough to feel something, you must put it into action. For faith without works is dead, and without faith it's impossible to please God. Conclusion, the right kind of confession like King David and the prodigal son will cleanse your heart and restore your fellowship back with God. Don't have a seared confession like Judas Iscariot that could not live with himself having betrayed his master, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and was motivated by worldly sorrow instead of godly sorrow. Remember Balaam in the Old Testament? Balaam, the double-minded, two-faced person who too was so worldly minded that his repentance was just half-hearted as he kept right on acting contrary to God's will. For Balaam tried to serve two masters. He was very pious at times, but very wordly at other times. Lord, have mercy on anyone who serves two masters, as there is only one master, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one saviour, the supernatural God of forgiveness, love, mercy, grace, and salvation. Who is that man? The Lord Jesus Christ. Can someone say amen? Glory, hallelujah. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this gospel audio message titled Confessing Your Sins. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so to hear and see more gospel posts and video messages like us or give us a comment we appreciate your comments from all over the world so god bless you ciao for now arrivederci bye bye